Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use slider controls to better control your expressions in After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects and I'm going to be going up to Composition, New Composition and creating a composition that's 1920 by 1080. So once I've done that I'm going to go up to Layer, New and Solid. I'm going to be creating a blue solid. So we're going to be making our famous blue square by dragging an endpoint in and just creating a square in the middle of our stage. So this is what we're going to be adding our expression to today. Now, the expression that we're going to be using is a fairly common one. Uh, it's going to be the wiggle expression. Now, uh, you may have seen my tutorial where I talked about the wiggle expression. It was a fairly in-depth tutorial on that particular expression. So if you do want to learn more about it, um, I'm not going to be discussing it um, too much today. So uh, if you do want to learn more about it, make sure and check that out. But basically how this is going to work is I'm going to click on my layer, hit the S key on my keyboard to bring up the scale, then I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch in order to make an expression. Now the wiggle expression is basically just wiggle and then open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then inside of these parentheses I'm just going to put a comma. Now on the left side of the comma is going to be your frequency of the wiggle. So I'm just going to type something like, I don't know, maybe five. And then on the right side of the comma is going to be your amplitude or how much uh, it's going to actually wiggle. So I'm going to type something like 50. All right, so now in order to actually apply that, we're going to click off. All right, so now what we should see is if I hit the space bar, it's going to um, make our square go berserk. Basically what it's doing is it's wiggling or basically creating a random value um, between I guess 0 and 50 um, for that square to actually um, animate in different directions. So since we added it to scale, it's going to be scaling it pretty erratically. Now, the problem comes um, with, say that we were doing this a little bit more, um, I don't know, uh, we had a little bit more method to this um, and we wanted to actually make this square go crazy because it was doing something um, and needed to go crazy and then we wanted it to stop. Okay, So how would we actually do that um, without knowing how to use slider controls? Um, a good guess would be to just come out here and get your area um, or your playhead basically where you wanted to cut that. Then you'd go up to edit and down to split layer and it would take and split the layer right there. So now basically you'd have no expression on this top part so we could actually um, hold S and make sure that we took our expression off of there. Okay, so now that we have no expression on that top piece, it would be wiggling and wiggling and eventually it would just stop. Now, that's fine and good if you only have to make one cut, but let's say we had it wiggling and then we wanted to make it stop and then we want it to wiggle again, and it's just going and stop and go, stop and go. You're going to have a ton of layers. So there is a better way to do this, um, and that's what I'm going to be showing you. We're going to be creating a slider control. So what I'm going to do is just undo that so we're back to where we were before with the wiggle expression and one layer. So the way that we're going to do this is by first creating a null object or an adjustment layer. So we're going to go to layer, new, and again this will work on adjustment layers and null objects. Um, I'm just going to be making a null object. So a null object is basically something, um, it's an empty object that has no properties. So um, we can do whatever we want to it basically. So what we're going to do is make sure you're clicked onto that null number one. And we're going to click on effect and then go down to expression controls and slider control. Okay, so it's going to add it up here. Now if you want to have more than one slider control to control different numbers on this, um, again we do have frequency as the first number and amplitude as the second number so you can technically make two different sliders to control each number. Um, we're going to be concentrating on this 50 right here, so the amplitude. So what I'm going to do is just hit enter and we can call this um, wiggle amplitude or basically it's the wiggle amount. So once we have that done, um, you won't see anything happening because we haven't actually linked anything up. So what we need to do is actually link our amplitude to this slider. So I'm just going to highlight the 50. You can delete it or do whatever you want. I'm just going to highlight it. And then I'm going to click on this pick whip, which is this little curly um, circle. So once I um, do that, I'm going to be able to drag this line around. And I want to put it on the slider of our, um, basically our slider controller, so our wiggle amplitude effect. So I'm going to link that up. And now you should see it add a whole bunch of stuff into your expression. So it's got five comma, and then it's got this comp dot layer no one dot effect and then it's got some other stuff in there now um, you can watch this video in HD and see what that says or you can just link it up with the pick whip which I would highly recommend because it puts all that in there for you so once you've done that um, basically we've killed our square it's it's doing nothing right now and the reason for that is because the slider is set at zero so now if we take and put the slider back up to what we had it at before which was 50 um, we're going to see the same thing we saw before um, 
So you might be asking yourself, why exactly did we do this? Um, the reason is because we weren't able to actually animate our wiggle expression before, but now that we've put the wiggle expression linked it to something that we can animate, we can actually animate this um, slider control and it will automatically update in the expression. So if you didn't follow that, um, basically here's what's happening. We're clicking on this effect up here and we're going to click the stopwatch. We can put this, we can leave it at 50 to start. Make sure our playhead is at zero and I'm just going to click the stopwatch. So now if we open up our little tab here for the null, go into effects, wiggle amplitude, you can see we have a nice keyframe right there at zero seconds. So now let's say that we wanted to come out here and we wanted it to animate to um, say zero. We want it to, or maybe, maybe we'll have it have a sudden stop. So we'll come out here, we'll make another um, keyframe of 50. So I'm just going to paste out another one. And then right after that, we're going to put one of zero. So I'm just going to type in a zero here. So if you didn't follow that, basically we have it wiggling at 50, it's going along at 50, and then it's going to suddenly drop to zero. All right, and then we can make another one over here at zero, and then we can, again, click on our 50, and then we'll make it suddenly jump back up to 50. Now you can do all that with these numbers, but I'm just copying and pasting keyframes. So basically what that's going to look like is if we hit spacebar, we can probably make this happen a little quicker. Um, if I hold Alt, I'm roving the keyframes, basically scaling them all proportionally. So if I hit spacebar, it's gonna be dancing along, stop, and then it's gonna start up again. So there's no way um, easily that we would have been able to do that with our expression, but you can see that by adding a slider control to it, we're able to do that very quickly, um, very effectively. And again, you can add it to this five too. If we wanted to um, animate the, uh, frequ the frequency of our wiggle, we could basically take and make another slider control, pick whip that slider control, and then we can control them both uh, individually. So as you can see, you basically get a ton of different um, options now that you can use your for your expressions. Um, wiggle is just one of the expressions um, that you can use in After Effects, so um, don't let your mind be constrained just to using this for Wiggle. Um, you can use it for many other things, um, but you can see here we've just opened up a ton of possibilities that we didn't really have with this expression before. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Definitely try out your slider controls. They're um, very helpful in... Um, getting really precise control over your effects. So thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I do have a new video coming out every week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.